Divers in Kenya are helping to restore coral reefs by planting special structures that encourage displaced corals to regrow. And it comes as the UN Ocean Conference in Lisbon discusses how to protect these valuable ecosystems. Local foundation and the nearby community of Mikwiro village have established a locally managed marine area to restore degraded corals and enhance coastal resilience. The foundation has been planting over 8,000 corals a year and placed some 800 artificial reef structures in a bit to reclaim the coral gardens in Wasini. The coral are transplanted and nurtured back to life in specially constructed underwater nurseries with frames built by conservation workers at the Revolution Foundation. The prevalence of mass coral bleaching directly linked to climate change along the western Indian Ocean has worried scientists for decades. Not all conservationists are convinced this type of coral restoration will be successful. According to the Wildlife Conservation Society's own experience, it is expensive and many of the transplanted corals do not survive. Demand for high-end art is strong despite the global economic squeeze, according to South by Europe chairman. The comment comes ahead of the auction house's summer sales when a Francis Bacon painting worth more than 35 million pounds will go under the hammer. The auctions come amid a worldwide financial squeeze. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has severely disrupted trade in energy and wheat, battering a global economy that had been recovering robustly from the coronavirus pandemic. But despite the spiraling cost of living crisis, Newman expects the art market to remain largely unaffected. The highlight of the summer auctions is this portrait of Lucian Fruit. It was painted by Francis Bacon in 1964. The work is a snapshot of the relationship between these two renowned British artists. The portrait has lasted longer than their relationship, but this is the first time in decades that it has been seen by the public. The Jubilee Auction and Modern and Contemporary Evening Auction will both be held in London later this month.